Hello and welcome to day three of Discover Yoga, our five-day yoga challenge for absolute beginners. Thank you for joining me today. So for today's yoga class, if you do happen to have two yoga blocks, then they'll come in handy, but it's not necessary. So don't stress out about it if you don't have the yoga blocks yet. Don't even worry. Okay, but if you do, set them aside and we'll start in child's pose. So widen your knees, sit your hips back to your heels, stretch your palms forward towards the top of the mat and just arrive in the present moment. Use your breath to really settle in and center yourself, prepare yourself for practice today. As you breathe in, you can feel your back expand. And as you breathe out, you just release down. If you'd like to set an intention for today's practice, go ahead. You can set an intention for how you want to feel, how you want to move, or, or how you want to act. So one intention I like to use quite a bit is I will move with joy today. So pick your intention. And we'll check back in with that intention a little later on. Rise up to your hands and knees, setting up for our cat-cow. Great way to warm up the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. And exhale, round your back. Let the belly button move up to the spine and let your head hang. Inhale. And exhale. Keep moving through this, using it as an opportunity to connect your breath to your movement. Wherever you are in your yoga practice is just fine. It's just perfect. See if you can be gentle with yourself throughout this journey. And exhale, neutral spine. Great, right up into down dog today. So walk your hands just a few inches forward, tuck the toes, and send the hips up to the sky. Good. Just a brief down dog, noticing how your body feels in it today. See if you can melt your heels a little bit more towards the mat. They don't have to touch. And then lower the knees back down to your mat. Now, if you do have the blocks, go ahead and take them and place them on the outer edge of your yoga mat under your hands. So it's kind of like it's just elongating your arms a little bit. And once again, if you don't have them, no big deal. Step your right foot to the inside of the right block. Great. So we're coming into a low lunge. You can start to inch your left knee back till you feel a nice stretch on the front of the left thigh. Now, if you don't have the blocks, it'll just look like this, you'll be coming up on your fingertips here. Okay, now think of pulling your abdomen in and up to support you here. And then you can start to shift your weight forward. Great. Now bring your hands on top of your knee. You can interlace your fingers. Just really focus on sinking forward a bit, but at the same time, we're controlling our core. We're pulling in and up. Just breathe steady. A little bit of an openness here in the chest instead of collapsing in and over. Okay, fingertips come back down on the block or on the mat. Step back to your tabletop and then we will do the other side. Take your left foot on the inside of the left block. You can scoot your right knee back a little bit. And I'll take the blocks away so we know what that looks like up on your fingertips. And then control your core as you sink 
forward or melt forward. Bring your hands on top of your knee. Think of trying to wrinkle up the yoga mat between your front foot and your back knee. So everything's engaged in the lower body. Steady breath. And now release your fingertips down to frame your foot. Step back to tabletop. Setting up for downward facing dog, walk your hands a few inches in front of where they are, really press down through the fingertips, tuck your toes, press into the mat to push your hips up and back. Now, what we're gonna do is shift our weight forward into a plank. And you can always keep your knees down here. If your knees are, if you choose to lower your knees, it looks a little like this. So your hips are shifted forward a bit. If not, full plank. Pushing up out of the mat, not sinking into our shoulders. And then keep your elbows in towards your body. You can lower your knees if you like. Lower all the way down on your belly. Keep your hands under your shoulders. Setting up for cobra, baby cobra. Your elbows stay squeezed into your waist. And then feel your shoulder blades engage as you inhale lift your upper body up off the mat. It's like you're peeling it up just a little bit, using mainly your back strength. And then lower back down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, peel up. And exhale, release. Inhale, peel up. And hold just a little bit. Keep breathing. Shoulders down away from your ears. And release down. Nice job. Let's press up through tabletop and then back to downward facing dog. Take a couple of cleansing breaths here. So in through the nose, sigh it out, release. One more, inhale and let it go. Release your knees to the mat and bring your feet around in front of you. Setting up for boat pose now. We're really doing some core today. So bring your knees and feet into touch and let's bring our hands behind our knees to start. Lift the chest and lean back till you start to feel your lower abdomen engage. Breathe steady and if you wanna take it a little further here, you can extend your palms out in front of you. I'm gonna take you one more step into this, but if your low back, if you notice it starts to try to take over, then just back up a step, okay? Let's lift our shins. So start with a bend in your knees here. And if you wanna back up a little bit, you can take your hands behind your knees. As long as you're feeling engagement in your core, I'm happy with whatever you choose. See how long you can draw your breaths out. And then release everything down. Nice job. Walk your feet in towards your hips and wrap your arms around your knees. Lower your gaze. Again, breathing into our back, feeling it expand. And then one hand behind you, and then the other, and slowly lower yourself down on the mat. Take your right ankle over the left knee. Press the right knee away from you just subtly and flex the right foot. Now this might be plenty of stretch for you, so you can stay here, or you can bring the left thigh up towards you and interlace your fingers around the back of the left thigh. Pulling it in. This is where we're starting to come down a little bit so you can really begin to extend your exhales out longer than your inhales. Focus on your breath in all these stretches. And then let it go. Let the foot float down to the mat. Unwind. Take the left ankle over the right knee. Flex the top foot, 
maybe draw the right thigh towards you and interlace your fingers behind the leg. Feel proud of yourself, you've made it to day three, you've made it through day three. This is where a lot of people drop off in challenges, so you should feel really proud of how far you've come. Starting this habit in little, little bite-sized pieces. And then release, let the foot float down, unwind. Great, and we'll settle into our Shavasana. So, Whatever comfortable posture you'd like to take. I'll guide you out in just a few moments. Begin to deepen your breath, bringing a little awareness back to your physical body. Bring movement into your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. And then make your way up to a comfortable seat and close your eyes. If you ever feel like taking a longer rest, a longer Shavasana, that is okay. You can just turn me off. I won't be offended. These little 15 minute videos don't allow for a lot of time for Shavasana. I like a good 10 minute shavasana myself. I would take up our whole video. Notice how you feel for a moment. Notice if it's different from the beginning of our class. And then bring your palms to your heart. Good, feel your palms pressing into one another and check in with that intention that you set at the beginning of class. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. 
I will see you for day four.